There's another twist in the tale of the missing flight MH370. Malaysia is to send investigators to South Africa, and that's to check whether debris found on the country's south coast is part of the plane. MH370 disappeared two years ago with 239 passengers and crew shortly after taking off from Kuala Lumpur for Beijing. From South Africa, CCTV's Rene Delcam has this story. Like thousands of South African families at this time of year, Nils Kruger and his family travel to the south coast for the Easter holiday break. While walking along this river mouth in Little Brock River near Mossel Bay, he came across an interesting looking object. His sharp eye for detail as an archaeologist and aviation enthusiast led him to suspect that it could be a piece of debris from one of the engines of Malaysian flight MH370. We're currently here um, on a holiday, on a family holiday in this little coastal town of Kleinbrak, and we were walking on Monday afternoon um, with my family on the beach and next to the lagoon here, and um, I noticed a very peculiar kind of um, debris or a piece that, that um, laid on the surface. and. Um, I'm also an archaeologist, so I'm always very curious about things on the ground, material culture, and um, you know, always just with my nose in the ground. Um, and also immediately noticed that this is something different. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not, it didn't look like your you know, typical kind of um, maritime debris or maritime refuse. Then when I flipped it over, um, I uh, immediately recognized the um, Rolls-Royce um, manufacturer's sign. Although the main body of the plane has never been found, a piece of marine debris washed up along the shores of Reunion in July last year. And another South African found an aircraft part believed to be from flight MH370 off the Mozambican coast recently. Nils Kruger immediately contacted a pilot friend after making his discovery in the Indian Ocean and believes his suspicions were confirmed. Then I contacted the South African Civil Aviation Authority and um, sent them uh, images and the location here, the location of the find. And um, also then I came in contact with the Australian um, Air Traffic Safety Bureau. And um, they then advised me to please just, you know, kind of try and, try and preserve it in its more or less its original state or the state that I found it in and just keep it secure. So bubble wrapped it and uh, try to, to um, just keep it, keep it safe for now. Kruger says he hopes that finding this object will bring investigators one step closer to solving the mystery of the ill-fated flight MH370 and eventually bring closure to the grieving loved ones of the 239 souls believed to have perished in the plane crash. I've always, always wondered what happened to that aircraft, you know, and what is the real extent of this incident. And um, I, I just realized after finding this that I have this real sincere hope that, you know, in a, in a sm small way I can contribute and all well, this, this can contribute to a better understanding of, of this uh, immense puzzle. The South African Civil Aviation Authority said it had made arrangements to collect the discovered aircraft part and will then hand it over to the relevant Malaysian authorities. Renard Alcam, CCTV, Little Brack River, near Marshall Bay.